All right, folks, welcome back. This is Advanced Balatronomics. If you're still learning the game, still hoping to play less bad, uh, I have a tutorial series. It's the Balatro Daily series where we will play through every deck on the different stakes and explore the different challenges and that sort of thing, uh, over analyzing every decision and hoping to learn stuff along the way. Uh, but today here, we're going for science. We're going the distance, hopefully. Uh, it starts with this legendary joker, Perkeo, and it says, you know, each round is going to create a random consumable that you have. Most of the time you have control over this, you get to decide what consumable you have and it'll just create a copy. Uh, most importantly, it creates a negative copy, and so this means you can kind of keep stacking them up. You can save up a bunch of these if you want. Um, we have on this particular run, uh, I did do a bunch of re-rolling in order to get these sort of starting conditions here. And so we have things like Blueprint will be able to copy Perkeo and we'll be able to get, you know, generating more stuff more quickly. Um, uh, Perkeo, by the way, or, you know, the legendaries in general, they come from the Soul Spectral card. Uh, sorry, in the Spectral cards, we've got the Soul. Uh, if you didn't know already, this... You know, for any card that's in an Arcana pack or any card that's in a Spectral pack, uh, it's about a third of a percent that one of those cards will be replaced with the soul. So kind of on average, every time you open up an Arcana pack, there's a 1% chance that the soul will show up. And then there's a 20% chance that you'll get this particular legendary per KO. And the reason why we want this ability to copy consumables and the reason why we're playing on this is the ghost deck is... The ghost deck allows us to get consumables in the shop. And so you can do things like, oh, I can get extra copies of ectoplasm. And it used to be the case that ectoplasm was minus one hand size every time. And you can sort of get infinite jokers that way. Um, this has been changed. So now with the full release of the game, uh, the hand size cost increases each time you use it. So you use one of these, it's minus one hand size, you use the second one, it's minus two hand size, and then so on. And so you can't just sort of get infinite copies that way. Um, you can do things like make a bunch of copies of Wraith and then get whatever rare jokers that you want. You can use that to sort of spawn in, okay, I didn't get the rare with that I wanted, so I'll use another one and I'll use another one and then maybe get like Blueprint or Brainstorm or Invisible Joker or that sort of thing. Um, the combo that we're going for um, I think black hole is cool too. You know, if you each round get two copies of this, then each round you're upgrading all of your poker hands. This one can't show up in the shop, by the way. Um, Cryptid. Cryptid is the one that we're going for. And the reason for that is when you use it, it adds cards to your hand. Uh, and so it sort of temporarily increases your hand size. And then if you have things like steel cards, steel cards with a, a red seal on them that get the retrigger all of those extra cards are going to give you extra points. And so if you're going for uh, these very, very high scores, you know, potentially breaking the limits of the game as far as like reporting your high scores, this is a way to do it. That's what we're going to try for today. And so, you know, at least short term here for the setup of the run, uh, we on the ghost deck start out with hex. And so we made a polychrome blueprint was our first joker. Uh, in this shop here, we picked up the Perkeo from an Arcana pack. We had an Immolate earlier that gave us some starting money and removed some cards from our deck. Uh, we also picked up a Mime, and so Mime is going to copy... We've got Shoot the Moon right now, so copy all of our uh, Queens, giving us 13 mold. But long term, long term the plan is, uh, if we go to the Jokers here, the... Baron Joker, where is it? The Baron Joker gives you times 1.5 molt for each king. And so this kind of like, if it's a regular king, now it's a steel king, basically. Or if it's already a steel king, now it's more of the same on top of that. And so actually, if you think about, uh, let's go to the planet cards and let's look at, you know, maybe the highest scoring hand is the flush five. And it gives you three molt each and 40 chips each. Compare that to Pluto. So, Aeris gives you three times the molt and also four times the chip. So, you put all that together, what is that? That's 12 times as big 
your flush five will be 12 times as big as your high card. If you have, you know, 10 of these Pluto cards and 10 of these Eros cards, your flush five will be 12 times as big. But if each card is giving you steel and red seal and mime is re-triggering and you have the Baron and you're getting, you know, another times 1.5 for each card, then the difference between playing one card and playing five cards, you get to hold four extra cards. And those four extra cards that you're holding could be worth a ton of points. And so uh, our main scoring plan is to be going for high card eventually. You know, maybe early on, we're not able to do it right away, but we're gonna be going for high card eventually. And we have the voucher, the telescope, which is going to help us do that. Um, by the way, also, if we go to the collection here, the upgraded telescope voucher okay the observatory if you have a planet card you get 1.5 times molt for whatever that planet is and so if Perkeo gives you a bunch of negative plutos and you can just keep stacking them up forever then you know maybe a hundred plutos will be you know a bunch of times 1.5s with the observatory and so that's maybe a thing that we're trying to do. The main thing that we're trying to do is get cryptid, but also getting a bunch of copies, negative copies of Pluto and holding them instead of using, just holding them. That could also be worth it in the long term. We are going the distance. We are trying to reach uh, as high ante as we can. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into it. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have any consumables to copy right now. I just got the Perkeo here. And so, you know, you could consider re-rolling to take your first consumable, um, but I'm gonna save my money for interest. Uh, in which case, as far as my scoring needs are concerned, we have to ask the question, do I want this shoot the moon copied once with mime and again with blueprint or, so this would be one, two, three, on the shoot the moon or do I want to do this? Do I want to copy the shoot the moon and now it's one, two and then doubled another one, two gives me three instead. And so this is currently uh, the optimal scoring configuration here, but it'll change as potentially we get more copies of blueprint or brainstorm more copies of mime. Uh, instead of shoot the moon we get, we're looking for the Baron. Uh, I should check, by the way, I should check the boss here. Face cards drawn face down. Okay, that's something that we're going to have to figure out in the future. Uh, but for right now, I'm just looking to draw as many queens as I can. So let's just discard four queens. Uh, there's a queen which we can skip over. There you go. With just the one queen, uh, we do have three of a kind upgraded one time. Let's see how much it scores. All right, 7,000 points with just the one queen in hand. Uh, this is incredible. Okay, so we got the bootstraps is negative. And so what I said, and I did another one of these where I was playing on the plasma deck and we reached anti 25 or something like that. Um, and what I said about the start of that run is, you know, either bootstraps or the bull the way that you should think of this this boot, bootstraps, this is an income joker. This is not a payoff joker, this is an income joker. And the reason why is, if this converts your money into scoring, then this one joker slot, I don't need as many scoring jokers. If I don't need as many scoring jokers, I can have more value jokers. And so this kind of acts as income by freeing up your joker slots. All right, so I'm pretty interested in that. Maybe I'm interested in opening this buffoon pack first before I make any commitments here. Um, I'm pretty interested in ectoplasm. You know, maybe getting a negative perkeo would be good, negative mime. Uh, I don't want the situation where I end up with negative shoot the moon. That would be disappointing. So maybe let's do this. I think we can afford to sell Shoot the Moon. I think we can use the Ectoplasm. Negative per KO is totally fine. I think we can open the Buffoon Pack just to see what it has. I need something. I need something to help me score right now. 
Um, let's take even Steven just temporarily. We'll pick up the bootstraps here um, and save our money for interest. So maybe now let's copy the even Steven and we'll get a little bit, but not necessarily a whole lot of, from the bootstraps. All right, face cards are face down. Now I don't care about face cards as much because we got rid of the uh, shoot the moon. Maybe what I'm interested in getting is uh, here we've got two fours. If I could get a third four, I think that would definitely be enough points. Uh, two pair fours and eights, that might work. We did throw away one eight already. Uh, the six I don't need. Let's try two pair. With blueprint copying, even Steven, we should be fine. Um, and then noting here, the next round is going to be 2,800 points. And so we're looking for maybe some more scoring here, um, or, you know, now bootstraps will be a little bit bigger. So maybe we'll score a little bit more. Let's go next. All right, uh, we do have the offering. If we want to get a polychrome joker, I think that's not what we're into right now. Uh, let's see here, we could, I guess we could go for a straight, would score higher than our, what was, you know, two pair or something like that, or maybe that's not true. Maybe we would score higher if we go for tens and eights full house. There we go, three eights already with two sevens here. I think that wins already, but I'm gonna go for the full house anyway. If we didn't get the full house, the three eights on their own would win. All right, so we know that full house and even full house is worth 6,500 points. I do want this seed money voucher. Let's take a look here. Uh, I can, would normally buy it in the next round after beating the big blind. There's a consideration for, do I want this negative tag? Uh, remember when you take the negative tag, it's just gonna be a random joker, oftentimes a common joker. And so though this is kind of free in the sense of it doesn't take up a joker slot, uh, it's not free in the sense that we are skipping a blind so we're making all of the score thresholds higher um, in the short term it doesn't matter we're going to be scoring plenty but then you know long term if we're trying to reach anti 35 and 36 um, we want that to not come too fast um, and so we're not going to be taking the negative tag and so i know i don't i have another opportunity to buy the seed money after the next round and so do I want to, with Perkeo right now, I'm not currently making any copies of stuff. So what do I want to start making copies of? Uh, world to make spades is an option. Uh, previously, what we were doing, um, we were doing things like this here. You know, we were using Sock and Buskin to re-trigger all of our face cards and we had hearts because of this Bloodstone giving us X Molt on all of our hearts. Since we're going for an entirely different build this time, um, maybe it's not crazy to go spades instead of hearts. Let's take a look at this Arcana pack. Uh, from here, I'm looking for maybe Emperor or Fool or the Priestess will give us a consumable that we can start to copy. Or just 20 bucks is perfect. Now I can go ahead and take the seed money and get all of my interest going. Let's see here. If I pick up this world for, or, you know, let's even pick up Uranus here. It sells for a dollar. And so if I make two more copies, the copies will sell for a dollar also, except they'll be negative. So they'll sell for more. Just like that. And so, you know, you can already see here with the blueprint copying Perkeo here. Uh, we're going to get a bunch of negative, hopefully cryptid, but maybe negative Plutos could be a possibility. Let's go look for, I think two pair already does it. And if it doesn't, then I can always, you know, do these. Wow, that's a ton of money here. Interesting. 
This, by the way, my first time playing with this combination, Blueprint and Perkeo, and so it is surprising to me to see this, the, you know, how much money that we can generate each round from these negatives. Um, interesting, interesting. I should have sold another one for the interest. My apologies. All right, what sort of technology are we looking at here? We do have the option for another ectoplasm. Okay, that's going to give us another joker slot. Um, I want... Yeah. I mean, short term, it's going to be a lot harder for us to score, you know, if we don't have the extra hands. Uh, though, or sorry, the extra hand size. Though, we do have the help of the bootstraps. And so maybe what I want to do is if I can make a negative mime, that would be cool. Or maybe I don't need to do this right away. Let's do this. Let's take the ectoplasm. I don't need to use it. What I can do is I can, I want the space joker, possibly trying to upgrade my high card right now. Um, here, Arcana packs. Let's do it. All right, I'm trying to make kings, and the way that you make kings is maybe these jacks I can strength up. Um, I think there's plenty of opportunity later on to maybe you know get death cards and stuff like that. So I'm going to prioritize the removal. We've already used immolate to start the run, and then I'm going to take the hangman there. Would be really nice to see a fool, or I guess priestess is not terrible. I'm trying to get a Pluto card to copy. We'll see. Let's focus on cleaning up the deck for now, and then we'll see where we end up. All right, these Ectoplasm normally selling for $2. Now the negative version, I guess, sells for $4. Okay, I'm not going to use this many Ectoplasms. Sorry, not sorry. But maybe a couple could be fine. Let's see here, our spade cards are going to be debuffed. Okay. Um, how much is this giving me? Bootstraps is currently giving me uh, 20, plus 20. That could be the same as Steven giving me plus 20. If I do it this way, that's less because bootstraps happens after the polychrome. Whereas if I do it this way, then I have the plus fours on all of my even cards. I want to do this. You can actually, you can copy the space joker. And like I said, trying to level up my high card. So let's do this. I'm going to play high card and level it up. Or I'm going to play this high card and try to level it up. Or I'm going to try to play this high card and level it up. Or I guess not. In which case the backup plan is we've got eights here. Spades are debuffed. So what am I looking for? I'm down some twos. Uh, I've got some fours in the deck. I've got tens left over. So maybe let's go eights and tens. There's eights and tens as a two pair. Hoping to get full house. It may not be 100% necessary. There's eights and tens. Maybe if I discard one t more time, I can get another different 10. Uh, just to be safe here. We could do it that way or we can run out the four of a kind. I think I'd rather have the extra chips from the full house. And also I get more multi if I play an extra card. All right, I was supposed to, you know, for scoring purposes, move the blueprint, but we scored enough there, so it was fine. Uh, according to this, our most played hand, even between flush and high card. So this is gonna give me a Jupiter card from the telescope. Fool can copy Hanged Man. That I'm into. 
And maybe Hangman I can try to copy with Perkeo now. In which case, is it time to use the Ectoplasm? Maybe. Now we've got a lot of moving parts here. Let's go Hieroglyph for the minus ante, though this minus one hand per round, maybe I want to save this until after I beat the big blind. I'm not able to scout ahead, so let's go to the collection here, and it says uh, 6,000 is what I need to win this round, and I think I can get 6,000, but maybe um, if I use, I'm considering whether or not to use the ectoplasm on, say, you know, trying to force the mime. I think I'll just go here with the celestial pack. Jupiter is not what I'm into, though these other ones are not necessarily going to help either. So I guess I'll take a Mars card, though, you know, not really plan on using any of those. Uh, I will take the Hieroglyph because that's going to lower the blind amount and then it'll be easier to beat. And in that case, instead of this even Steven, I'm going to sell. And do I want to take this chance of getting a negative space joker? I think I don't want to take that chance if I'm going, you know, for the long term here. So let's go negative on the mime. That's going to reduce our hand size. So that's something that we're going to have to navigate. We've got the hangman's coming out. All right. Uh, six and four, you can go. What sort of hand do we want to try to play? I guess we want to maximize high card so here i guess eights you can go to here's a high ish card maybe if i do this that's a thousand points cool here's another high ish card cool All right, now we, I feel we're fully online. I feel like we got the plane off the ground here. Uh, in which case, now we can start spending money on Arcana pack, $30 Temperance, uh, or do I want to try to get random tarot cards? Right now, Perkeo is copying my Hanged Man, and so Hanged Man is fine. Looking for a fool? Didn't get the fool. Uh, do I want strength card to try to make more kings? I can make more kings other ways. And so let's go priestess looking for a Pluto. We got the Pluto. Let's make sure Neptune is not going to get in the way. And that's it. We've done it. Do I want to reroll? No, I think I'm going to keep the bootstraps going. Nice. Okay. Like I said, first time playing with this combination here. Uh, it does honestly pick a random one. And so we got one of the Hangmans and one of the Plutos. Uh, short term, we're going to spam the Hangman to thin out the deck. And then long term, we're going to switch to Plutos. Nice. Which means let's go ahead and use this Pluto. And let's use this Hangman. And let's play a high-ish card. Oops. Let's make sure we copy the boot. Okay. Uh, Astronomer currently is free, so might as well. Astronomer gives me a free Celestial Pack, and Celestial Pack is going to give me Pluto. Absolutely. Ooh, I get to pick two. So maybe two pair and a Pluto. Pluto's going the distance. All right. Uh, do we want stone cards? No, not necessarily. Uh, what other sort of technology can we pick up here? We could pick up uh, some random tarot cards. We can try to get, you know, maybe some lucky cards for the 
you know, potentially gives you money. On average, gives you slightly more than a dollar when you play it. Um, I'm not entirely opposed to that. I'm just trying to think long term what I might be wanting to do. I think I'm going to start with the wheel. Let's start with the emperor. See what we get. All right, strength. Maybe these jacks will turn into kings eventually. Devil. Um, I do need to use my tarot cards right now because then, you know, Perkeo is going to make a copy and I don't want to copy the wrong thing. Uh, maybe we can make a queen of hearts into gold, I guess. Uh, Wheel of Fortune. I'm hoping for foil on my astronomer. If not, that's perfectly fine. We're going to save our money for the bootstraps. I don't need a walkie-talkie. More hangman. Love to see it. Cards previously played are not a problem. All right, so these sort of things, we can hang them. Uh, king, I'm going to... King and queen. Those are, you know, saving kings for later. Here are the small ones. We can hang those. And then now... You know, maybe let's try to find the gold card, you know, just for the tiny bit of extra money. Well, that wasn't especially difficult. Let's play our high-ish card. Getting higher as we speak. Okay. Plus one hand size is incredible. That's gonna help mitigate these ectoplasms. Long term, you know, what we're trying to do is we're trying to get the cryptid and then that's going to inflate our hand size. So we don't need to worry about the minus hand size too much. We'll, we'll figure it out, we'll get there. Mostly what we want is we want the overpowered jokers and copies thereof. Uh, let's go, Celestial Pack is gonna give me Pluto, guarantee. In the Arcana pack, we could get a steel card. That's what we want, right? We want kings, we want steel kings. Okay, so we'll do that. Uh, we've got our scoring needs met here. Maybe something to consider is this combo here, it gets better, of course, if you have uh, maybe an Invisible Joker for another copy, maybe a Brainstorm for another copy. And so maybe, even though I want to be saving money for my bootstraps, I also want to be re-rolling for those rare Jokers. You know, we've got all these Joker slots that we're not using here. So maybe we want to do a little bit of re-rolling. Uh, I'm going to hold off on re-rolling still. You know, maybe after the next couple rounds, after we get another voucher, maybe we get the reroll voucher, maybe not. Uh, but for short term, we will pass. Okay, Pluto, we can go ahead and use, and then Hangman will remove some more cards. Uh, do I want to make a standard pack? Not as a skip. Okay, let's remove some more cards. Let's look for our gold card. Okay, we got the gold. Let's play our high-ish cards. I guess once we know that we can score enough, instead of copying the bootstraps, what we can do is we can copy the mime instead and get extra money from our gold cards. Maybe that's something we should start thinking about. I should start thinking about. Uh, Venus here is free money because of the astronomer. Pluto again. All right, in the standard pack, I'm looking for um, I'm looking for a red seal is what I'm looking for. Uh, polychrome is cool too, but I don't necessarily need polychrome. The main thing I'm looking for is a red seal, and I'm looking for more kings, not necessarily any suit that I'm attached to, just more kings in general. Um, I can take the banana here, and then you know maybe later on we get. The upgraded banana. That's fine. 
Um, you know, long term, all of our scoring we're planning on doing with just MIME anyway, and so I don't need any other kind of X Mult. I don't need, uh, you know, Cavendish. I don't need the, um, you know, Constellation or Vampire or that sort of stuff. I forgot to copy Perkeo. That's okay. We will survive. All right, let's go ahead and maybe. So there is sort of this balance point between, you know, you want to use enough Plutos so that the base is high enough, you know, when it gets multiplied by all your steel cards, but you want to save enough Plutos so that, you know, when we get the observatory voucher, we have a bunch of Plutos saved up. For now, I'm just going to keep using them, but maybe something to consider in the future. At what point do we stop using them and we start saving them instead? Let's look for our gold card there is the gold card we will copy the mime it'll probably not win in one but that's okay playing two hands playing the extra hand is worth it because we get the extra three dollars all right mars for a dollar Celestial for another Pluto. Standard pack looking for red seal. Uh, we did get another gold card. And so maybe it's worth it to have another gold card. It's pretty easy for us, at least so far, to thin out our deck with the hangman. So maybe it wouldn't be ludicrous for us to have an extra gold card. I'm into that. Let's keep holding here. I don't need the extra scoring from the ice cream necessarily. I keep forgetting. Like I said, this is my literal first time using this combo. Okay. In which case, nope, we're going to stick with mime blueprinted. Uh, first hand is face down. Hmm, bummer. I guess... We'll just throw all these away. I don't know whether or not I hit my gold card yet. So let's just discard everything. There's a steel card. Not that I need it. Oh well. Uh, so now, you know, maybe I don't need to copy this mime. Maybe I'll do something like that. Perfect, we drop the banana. Here's the money tree voucher, gives us more interest when we save up to $100, so good thing we didn't reroll. Uh, we've got hermit. Instead of using the hermit, if I wanted to, I could save a hermit and possibly copy it with Perkeo. That's not crazy to do that. That's pretty good to do that, perhaps. Let's do that. Uh, here's that bloodstone I'm not necessarily attached to. All right. Do I want to... Here's queens into kings. Seems reasonable to do. Arcana pack again. $34. You know, I'd like to have one of these. It'd be even better than hermit. And so let's go... Do I want temperance or... You know, maybe this is not crazy if I go gold king. After how many tries will it pay for itself? I think I can take the temperance. Uh, I already have the gold cards and, you know, with the shrinking hand size here, I'm not going to be able to hold that many gold cards in hand anyway. Um, I think uh, for the re-rolling, let's make sure we do this. Let's make sure we copy Perkeo here. Anyway, with the re-rolling, let's... For the next couple rounds, let's re-roll once each. We want to spread out our re-rolls, you know, because of the increasing re-roll cost. Perfect. Pluto we can use. Hermit I'm going to hold on to, hoping to make more copies. Mime I'm going to copy. Okay, aces and eights I can remove. And then let's look for our gold cards. It 
Uh, okay. Let's try this high card. Okay. And we got the $20 interest. All right, now we're, you know, we're cooking. Uh, I get to choose two. How about a pair and then follow it up with the high card. High card again. I guess it's high card every time. I don't need to call it out. Uh, egg, maybe. If we can, you know, build up our temperance value. Though temperance is already 35, you know, because we have all these additions. Maybe some consideration for just picking up random jokers. Even if we don't need them, they give us more temperance value. Let's make sure to copy Perkeo here. Reroll once. Interesting. How many sixes do I have? I have one six. So let's take the sixth sense. I would, I'm still looking for my cryptid, right? Maybe that's a reason I should be re-rolling is so that I can find my cryptid faster. Let's try to get a random spectral card from the sixth sense. Uh, by the way, this is incompatible blueprint with the sixth sense here. Uh, I'm looking to find, okay, let's go removal. I'm looking to find a six. Eight and five, I can remove. Show me that six. Yeah, that's not it. So let's play the high card. All right, in the shop here, if I'm gonna be opening these Arcana packs, let's do our reroll first. Fibonacci, Hiker is not incorrect. You know, it's not gonna be a huge bonus, but every potentially little bit helps. And so maybe we'll go, uh, you know, try to upgrade our Kings with the Hiker. All right. Fool copying hanged man. Unfortunately, that's, we already have that technology. So, oh well. Would I rather have another hanged man or would I rather have another 20 bucks? I think for now, I'd rather have the hanged man. Okay, another opportunity here to pick up another hangman potentially. Let's go three and jack, we can remove. And I guess we'll just get another hangman. And we'll go next. Diamonds are debuffed. Uh, what flavor six do we have? We have a six of spades. Okay, so this shouldn't be an issue. I'm going to use Pluto's. Uh, I can go five and four, or actually let's go jack and four. Let's remove those. There's always a chance that the five turns into a six and I can get an extra spectral card because we are really looking for that uh, cryptid. Looking for the six. Okay, so we did get the six. Let's run it out. Wow, that's 20,000 points high card. Okay, we got Ouija is not what we're interested in doing, so we can get rid of that. Let's, I wanna look for my Kings as the cards to upgrade. So I know, you know, I can play high card and I can keep trying to level up my high card, or I can play all three of these Kings to level them up with the Hiker is what I'm going to do. Keeping Blueprint on Mime for the extra money. and copying Perkeo. All right, this 
To the Moon is huge. So if you didn't know about To the Moon, the way that it works is it increases your interest rate, but it doesn't change the interest cap necessarily. And so the way the interest cap works is you get up to $5 with $25 saved. This doubles the rate. So instead of five per 25, you get 10 per 25. And so typically this is just an extra five bucks every round. But in this kind of rare situation where we ended up with both of these vouchers here, instead of this $20 interest, this will give me another $20 interest. And so what am I looking to get rid of? Maybe I don't actually need this egg that bad. Uh, I want to try to keep the hiker to, you know, level up my king and the sixth sense here. Even though I have no more sixes, there's always a chance that we could get more sixes later. Spectral pack. We do have the offer to make a copy, though it's not going to be a negative copy and we already have a lot of stuff going on, so obviously we're not going to do that. Um, Grim, I don't need aces, so we can just skip here and then do a reroll. Saturn, okay. Maybe we'll reroll one more time. Uh, delayed gratification could be good for us. We don't necessarily need to use our discards and so we could be getting some extra money per round, though the discards do help us find our gold cards. Long term though, you know, we'll remove cards from the deck and we won't need to discard. I think we don't need this. I think we don't need the delayed gratification. More copies of Pluto. Random negative we don't need. I want specific negatives, or actually what I want is I want shop rerolls for cryptid or maybe rare jokers. Let's look for gold cards. Uh, do I want to play the king? I do. There, I got my gold cards. That's all the gold cards that I have, right? Let's look for more kings. There we go, we got all the kings. So let's, here's three of a kind kings, all upgraded. And high card to end. Oh, we're cooking. <laughs> $40 interest, so 20 of it coming from to the moon. Okay, card sharp here would help our scoring. Not that we need it, but it could. Uh, let's see here. Here's a cryptid. If I want to make more kings, I don't necessarily need more kings yet. I want to make them special first and then make more copies. Some consideration for should I make the queens right now extra copies for more money? Do I want to put a gold seal on one of my kings? That would also give me more money. Um, I think actually, you know, because we have this hangman that we can always remove cards later, I wouldn't normally do this, but with the power of the hangman, I feel safe making extra queens that I can remove later or just use strength. Uh, before I go Arcana Pack, let's reroll. This is kind of huge, right? So gift card is going to increase the value of all my cards. It's gonna increase the value of all of my consumables too. And so the consumables, the cost goes up and then you get a copy. And then the cost goes up and then you get a copy. And then so this is absurd income, perhaps even more income than to the moon would be. Um, perhaps we don't really need the hiker. It's pretty small bonuses that it's giving us. We don't really need the astronomer. It gives us a little bit of money, but not nearly as much as the gift card. Uh, all of these. Let's sell the astronomer and then take this for money instead. All right, here we could go fool for Pluto. Or I guess there's all these suit changers that don't really matter, right? So let's go pick up Pluto. 
And that one I'll just use. Reroll again. Incantation? No. Glass cards, maybe, though I don't want Perkeo to copy justice. Alright, let's go next. Pluto's again, no problem. Now's the situation where maybe we ask the question, should we be holding the Plutos for the extra money? I think we don't need to do that. Show me some gold cards. Cool. So here's a king. And you can see with the help of a gift card, uh, Hangman has gone up to $5, Pluto has gone up to $5. Maybe Buffoon Pack? Show me a Brainstorm. Um, golden Ticket, I can play my gold cards, though holding them I get the copies from the mime, so maybe I don't want to play my gold cards. Let's take a look at the boss here. Decreased level of Poker Hand, this Matador, it triggers the boss ability. It, this is actually incompatible. Let's, I don't need any of this. Standard pack looking for a red seal still. You know, one of the benefits of playing on the ghost deck is you can possibly get Deja Vu spectral card from the shop. That's a possibility. Uh, do I want the extra hand size? Do I want the strength card? The strength card to turn my queens into... I do want them to be kings eventually, right? I think we can still wait on that. That's not an urgent situation. I'm going to save my money for one more round. After the boss, after we see what the next voucher is, then we're going to start dumping money on rerolls. Because uh, we do have quite a bit of money saved up. Uh, so here, like I said, the Pluto went up to $5, and now these are $5 copies. So the question is, is this Pluto... Should I use it, or is it better as $5? Uh, I'm going to use them for now, though consider in the future using them as money instead. All right, let's look for our gold cards. That's it. That's all we need. Uh, do I want to hold on to the steel card? I have few enough cards in the deck that it doesn't matter. There we go. And then remember to scoot this blueprint over. Nice. Uh, we've done it. We've gotten the observatory. We've gotten the Pluto power. Cool. Let's go wheel. Let's go red seal standard pack. That's okay. I forgive you. Let's go observatory. Now. Now we hold the Plutos. I think we have high enough base here. We'll get more from more Celestial Packs. We don't need to go all in on too many Pluto cards right now. All right, uh, as I'm re-rolling, the thing that I'm looking for is Cryptid. Tower I don't want. Mars, Judgment, Hack, I don't need. Um, I'm going to save my money because of the increasing reroll costs and maybe what I'll do is so spreading out our rerolls because of the increasing cost, you know, maybe five rerolls per shop, maybe seven rerolls per shop. We'll see. Uh, this is, by the way, this is just a random seed. And so, you know, just playing it by ear. All right, so we did get two more hangman, $6 hangman. 
Let's go removal here. Tens we can remove. By the way, what's the boss? Boss is we have to play five cards. Okay, so we do want to play high card. Technically, we want to play high card. Um, and we want to play high card in such a way that it's five cards. And so we got two, four, five, nine, queen, king, ace. So I think there's enough different cards that we can beat the psychic. Though it's a good thing that we checked. You know, we don't want to remove too many cards from our deck and run into a situation where we don't have a high card. Though maybe, you know, with the leveled up bootstraps here, maybe instead of high card, there's some other hand that will also work for us. Three cards left in the deck. Show me the gold one. Maybe I should throw away the steel card. All right. Again, don't mind if I do. All right, uh, we've got Clever Joker here for chips. You know, maybe some chips on top of our bootstraps molt is not insane to do that. Uh, let's go Pluto again. All right, so what sort of things do we have? We've got, I keep forgetting about Hiker also. We've got so much going on. It's hard to keep track. Uh, do I want maybe a Glass Ace and then there's a chance that it breaks? Yes. Do I want to re-roll? Still looking for Cryptid. Supernova gives us 23 Molt, but we already got that covered with our Bootstraps. Uranus here I don't need. Faceless Joker we don't need. All right. That is a $7 Pluto and a $7 Hangman. Random negative I don't need. All right, let's see here. Do I want to remove an ace and a nine? I think that's safe for now. So we'll go ahead and do that. Um, I guess, you know, while I'm holding on to these Pluto cards and potentially if I make more Pluto cards with Perkeo, then it makes it less likely that I'll hit my hanged man. Maybe I don't need to be holding on to this hermit. Things to consider. Um, let's see, I've got 13 cards left on the deck. I'm looking for the gold ones. Bunch of kings. There's that ace that I'm trying to break. Maybe I'll break it later. Uh, what I want more is just to get my gold, which we did. Here's high card. Ouija, we don't want. All right, strength now. We can go queens into kings to be compatible with that baron. Let's go digging. Before we go re-rolling, if I buy this Ouija, then there won't be duplicates in the shop. Okay, Incantation is not the one. Devil, maybe. Make more gold cards. Is making gold cards going to be better than let's say, you know, making money with Hermit? If I wanted to use up one of my slots here. Uh, yeah, but I've got plenty of gold cards, so we'll just keep going. Splash now, I don't need necessarily Temperance. All right, that is spicy. Let's do this. Let's use Hermit. 
sell Ouija, pick up Temperance. If it gets copied, it's worth 50 bucks. Though getting more Plutos, I'm not necessarily upset about. All right, I need to find a way to play high card. So here's an ace, here's a king, you know, possibly a gold one. Here's a queen. Okay, I need to ditch the kings. Okay, I've done it. I've got the high card. Maybe what I can do is look for another gold card. Steel card, I don't need. Okay, so here's ace, five, two, four, queen. That's high card, that will score. Oh yeah, and you can see already here's the uh, the observatory with all the Plutos stacked up. By the way, here's $9 Plutos. $47 cash out. Here's the surplus. That's what we were waiting for. Now, let's dump. All right, strength, I could make a queen into a king. I could make a five into a six, finally. We're into that. We're very much into that. Uh, jumble pack looking for red seal. Polychrome. I don't see why not. It also happens to be a king already. So I'm not going to be mad about that either. Uh, do I want this luchador? Luchador gives us kind of uh, a safety net here. You know what happens if we get the boss that debuffs all your face cards, debuffs all your kings or whatever it is. Um, I want to keep the sixth sense for, you know, that chance we get random spectral cards. I'm going to remove the hiker. And then this probably we won't use it, but we'll save it just in case. How deep do we want to reroll? I mean, we got a ton of money, so we can go deep. Now we've got the bull. Now we can go really deep maybe now i don't need the luchador anymore right like even if our stuff gets debuffed we still got the base chips and the boost bootstraps all right we've got the technology still looking for cryptid in the shop though immolate is not the worst thing in the world would I rather have Immolate or, you know, maybe like a uh, Hangman? I think maybe Immolate is a little bit too dangerous. I think I have more control if I have the Hangman, and so I'm not going to take the Immolate. I'm just going to pass here. Dang it, I keep forgetting. All right. Uh, high card, three levels. I could double it. That's okay. We got plenty of levels here. Uh, what is the boss is the debuff one so that's gonna debuff all my gold cards something worth considering now would I rather like I said do I want to be using these Pluto cards or should I get rid of them so I can copy temperance instead and with the money do the shop re-rolling uh, I think we're good on money I think that's just it. I think we're just good on money. Uh, this, oh, I'm looking for the six. Let's try to find that six. Three cards, there's the six. Show me cryptid. Oops. I keep forgetting we, ton we score a ton of points now. <laughs> Okay, uh, not an optimal run by far. Okay, Trance with the blue seal giving us random planet cards. You know, there's always a chance that we get uh, Plutos. Do I want the gold seal? Play card to get money. Let's do this. Let's go Arcana Pack 1. What's the card that I want to make gold seal? I want to make this king a gold seal. And then uh, I don't need this other stuff. Maybe I don't need the sixth sense anymore. I'm considering maybe selling 
something to the boss. Uh, now I'm going to take the trance. All right, the thing that I want to be a blue seal is the queen. Uh, do I want to, in here, make hearts? Sure. Wait a second. There we go. Might as well make them all the same. Kings. All right, we've got re-rolling capability. Make sure we're copying Perkeo. Strength, I don't need, I mean, I don't need right this second. Uh, Deja Vu, that's the red seal. That's the one that we want. So we can make our red steel cards. I'm gonna go ahead and pick it up now. Um, re-rolling, what am I looking for if I'm re-rolling? Uh, Invisible Joker and Brainstorm. Let's see. Do I want Space Joker? If I play my high cards, there's a chance that the high card gets upgraded. Or maybe high card is already upgraded enough. Or maybe it's already upgrading fast enough. I don't need Space Joker. Let's go next. Alright, so we did get the Temperance for the 50 bucks. We did get another Pluto card, which we can slide in here. All right, what do I want to make a red seal? Maybe this polychrome card would like to be red. Okay, I wouldn't blame him if he wanted to be red. Uh, let's see here, we've got the gold seal card is the card that I want to play. I also kind of want to get rid of this ace, right? Uh, let's go for the money. Show me the money. Nice, we got a Jupiter. That's a dollar. Wait, no, it's two dollars. Because of the gift card. All right, uh, wait, is it? Mmm, you know what we should do? We should do, wait, it doesn't matter. Right. Our blue seal is always going to go first. Wait, is that true? I guess gift card goes first. End of round. Blue seal goes after. That's weird. I feel like it should go the other way. Uh, anyway, let's go Celestial Pack. Giving me the Pluto. Arcana Pack. Uh, do I want death? Do I want more copies of this red seal? I do, probably. Or do I want the money? Do I want the gold seal? Or sorry, not the gold seal, but uh, the gold card. Yeah, let's go ahead and we'll just use the death now. When I get more tarot cards like, uh, you know, a chariot to make a steel card, having more copies just makes it easier to find them. Okay, let's try to find Cryptid. Buy this to block the duplicates. Show me a Cryptid. Devil, you know, maybe I could put the Devil on my Red Seal King. Nah. Okay, random negative greedy Joker. I'll take it. At the very least, uh, you know, it blocks duplicates. Greedy Joker. Do I need Aura? No. Do I want Purple Seal? Giving me more tarot cards. I think I do. I think I'm into that. Copy Perkeo here. <laughs> Alright, so we are on the boss. And let's... I guess that's it. Let's go. What's this? Man, it's gonna be hard to see him and it's gonna be hard to select him. There's Temperance. Uh, what do I wanna remove with the Hangman? I wanna remove an Ace and a Two. Okay. Uh, what sort of thing do I wanna put the Purple Seal on? Let's put the Purple Seal on my card that's already Steel. So let's see here, this is a... Do I wanna be selling something? 
do I need this bull? You know, because my high card is already, uh, you know, 250 chips. Do I need the bull? I want to save the six cents until I get my cryptid. You know, I could still, you know, maybe in a standard pack, you get a six and then you would use the six, six cents for that. So yeah, let's get rid of the bull. Removing the debuff so we get the money from the gold cards and the mime. So this I can throw away. Show me that steel king. That's the one that I'm looking for. No. Well, fine. Let's, I'm gonna use the purple seal just to get rid of it. Uh, let's go ahead and try to break this glass card. I bet you we could do it. Alright, so, you know, not the highest scoring uh, run and not the highest money I've ever done. I've personally done more, but we've got the setup here. We've got the makings of what will be a good endless run, and so that's sort of what we're building towards. Uh, we will continue endless mode uh, in the next one. Stay tuned.